through, I guess, 2012 to now, because 2012 is when that that switch got turned on and I start to remember more of my essence and attract more teachers and it's been a handful only a handful that fully resonate with this divine intelligence here the information is good and the information resonate but only a handful fully resonate only a handful fully felt like home and why because there is a lot of compartmentalism and that and the books and the teachings from the teachers you know all of these things that may have relevance in this time and that may you know had relevance or more relevance in that particular time you know all of these things are still in force in today's in today's teaching not factoring the pole shift the magnetic shift not factoring that earth is literally in a new space in space and after a while they just lose me because i'm not the teacher i'm a student and a teacher but i don't proclaim myself to be a teacher nor do i proclaim to have it all figure out because i think if you do think that you have it all figure out then <laughs> your time here is limited because as long as we have in this physical experience there's going to be a lot to learn <laughs> as long as you're having an existence you're never going to not have an existence there's always going to be things to learn but um like i say expansion requires inclusion and and this is why the the yin yang sign is so powerful and it's so deep because within that sign it is showing you so much that come back to the oneness and it is also showing you that separation is indeed an illusion right that can be as real as you want it to be because you are responsible for every form that exists within your reality you know and you know when when i see certain things it's like I, i'm still able to to know that you have good information but i know that your you is is convincing those who take you as a true teacher and who take everything you say like as gospel you're teaching those people to disconnect from the totality of who they are the little bit of light that is shining on me you know does not allow for me to to disconnect and to hold firm to those disconnections you know as any truth you know and in this age of information we all seek in because we know spirit knows in it knows that is more and it in it knows you know that it's time to go seeking deeper but while we're seeking deeper, there's people in all walks of life looking all sorts of way, you know, that's going to try to tell us their way. But again, when you're connected to this, you're going to know your way. Your way will always be 
the one true way. Even if somebody come into your life and guide you and you follow the guide and you find yourself at a fountain and that's that was your intention, even then, that guidance is still your guidance because you attracted that person and the person came forward with the information and it felt like home through this great filter and you listen and you found your way to the fountain. So the truth is going to always be your truth. So when you're listening to people reflections, always be able to have all information and all teachers pass through this day. Right? And if there's any type of separation, any type of separation, any type of division and all form to this division. Because these forms in this physical reality exist for a reason. But at the end of the day, know who you are. And you are formless. Right? So you don't have to identify and claim solid to this here. Because this is a fragmented version of you. Right? So you don't have to stick this physical and this is where we get so lost in this information age because the information ain't bringing you home to who you truly are and in your true essence you can do anything you can think of you can look any way you can you choose to look and people claim into farm and claim into science and claim into all these things that may not be relevant for the the best thing to do is just have an open mind and allow yourself to be divinely guided and know that the true you, you know, is a reflection of everything, right? And to see yourself outside of anything is to disconnect from who you truly are and this is why sometimes in moments where I'm called to make certain decisions, I ask, what would God do? Because that's me calling upon that innate intelligence. And the innate intelligence, in that moment, I'm in my Godship. And in that moment, the decision can never be wrong. You know? So, to each his own, my way has been working for me. I tried many people teachings and stuff. And one day, I was called to do something, to, to test when I did that thing, everything I seek within the time period of um of this moment of testing, you know, who I am and disconnecting from all of these these teachers and do my own thing. <laughs> I was freaking surprised. And since then I know that everything is within here. You know, and then I'm being tested to do other things to test my power and to create a stronger relationship with divine guidance. And now I just accept all the challenges or all the illusions of challenges and everything and allow myself to see the bigger picture and know that I am divine, divinely guided. So I'm not in this moment of my existence. I'll aspects of myself to bring forward all information that is relevant for my um for my growth for my journey for my purpose and don't limit myself in any way shape or form you know to seeing things in a fragmented way because I know that God lives within and I know God is infinite and I know God don't bring God send and I send forward information for myself in all different ways the butterflies the centipede the rat all of these things come forward in my life and give me great insights tangible insights and they say experience is the best teacher. So with all these experience I've had, you know, I will God be, 
I would go be like like crazy and and really wanted to sabotage myself, you know, to limit myself to, you know, to certain ideas of teachings. You know, you are your own teacher reflection. And any true teacher is going to teach you, you know, to find your own path. You know, leaders don't create followers. Leaders create other leaders. Right? And this is key to, to know when you're seeking guidance. Anybody that telling you that their way is the only way and not allowing you to expand ain't somebody that you should grab onto forever. Get the message and move the message and move on. God is using so many means. <laughs> so many means of trying to connect with us to show us the way so many means to show us the way and our bias is causing us to miss the divine link our bias our idea of superiority our idea of separation all the illusions is allowing us to miss the message but you're not missing the message, to be honest, you know. It's just not your time to peep game. It's just not your time to get the message. Because what's for you, you will get eventually. One love. <laughs>